let us see what is class it is a characteristic representation of an object or we say it is a blueprint of an object an object oriented programming one which represents the characteristic of an object is considered to be a class or one which is a blueprint of a given object is nothing but a class or it can be also defined as a unit for wrapping up of data members and member functions under one head so once we are clubbing up the data members and member functions under one head that head is going to be a class or it is in the simplest level if we want to define it will be a data type of an object or in most simple form it is a user defined data type or it is a fundamental block of an object oriented programming it can also be defined as a place for organization of data member and member functions under different visibility modes or the controls so i hope you can understood the definition of the class it's a simply a characteristic representation or a blueprint of an object so what is the syntax to declare this class for the syntax first we need to have a class as a keyword followed by the tag name then opening brackets then visibility mode which you would, would like to prefer for data members and member functions that is nothing but your members and then closing brackets terminated with semicolon the example if you see here i declared a class student so the tag name for this class is a student under the visibility mode i declare a private visibility mode for the role and name and public visibility mode for get data and show which are the functions so in the above declaration student is a tag name role and name are the data members and get data and show are the member functions the visibility modes which we can use for the classes are private public and protected so private is used to restrict the access of members outside the class so if you uh, declare anything below the private it is only will limited to the class but it cannot be outside the class so it is a restriction for it so public visibility mode allows the members outside the class but only and only via its object so it is not public means everything open it has having again the restrictions that it must access with the object the another visibility mode which we can see in later course is a protected one which will be same as in private except extending the access to the derived classes particularly in inheritance we are going to see it in details now we see the member function definitions how do we make it outside the class so for defining any member function its definition outside the class the following is the syntax to be followed the return type of the function followed by the tag name that is a class name then followed by your scope resolution operator then the name of the function and list of the arguments which we can pass it then the body of the function the four dots here shows that it is a scope resolution operator used for binding the scope of the class with the function for example if you see the get data which i declared earlier in the class how we bind it to the class outside the definition so white student the scope resolution operator get data then all the details required in the get data like we are getting the roll number and name from the user see that the scope resolution operator is a binding operator which binds the get data with the class student here the member of a class either private or public are directly accessible so whatever the member under the visibility mode private or public or even protected will be directly accessible by the function 
so we will not be requiring any dot operators or we cannot have any other things to use so it is having the direct access but the one which is invoking it so whose data is actually accessible the one the object which invokes that particular function the values accepted will be the member values which are the values of the object invoking the functions so this function is suppose invoked by any one object so the data associated with that object will be accessible then member function inside the class if you see how do we declare the member function definitions inside the class it is as simple as defining and declaring both the things together before the end of the class declaration so see here the white get data white the same thing without having any scope resolution operator list out the details of the function body within the scope of the class that becomes the function definition inside the class here the definition of function is completed before the class and hence there is no need of scope resolution operator but one more caution I want to make out here is the function when you de declare and define inside the class by default they becomes the inline functions the recap of the class a class is a simple data type in ordinary words but it is in oops concept a blueprint for an object so class contains the data members and member functions under different visibility modes there will be private protected and public visibility modes available private and protected are same for the isolated classes except the derivations used in the inheritance public is accessible outside the class with the dot operator along with the object any definition which you make it within the class scope will be having a limitation for being at an end line if anything we are de defining it outside we need to bind the member function with the scope resolution operator so i hope you can understand the class member functions declaration and definitions of the member functions inside and outside the class thank you